Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to connect our WooCommerce shop to our Facebook shop. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you're gonna need a WooCommerce website. So if you don't have a WooCommerce website yet, then I'll link to a video now where I go over setting up an e-commerce store with WooCommerce. So once you have a WooCommerce store set up and you're looking to integrate these products into your Facebook shop, we'll need to install a Facebook plugin. So go over here into plugins and then add new. And then we're going to search Facebook. Okay, and then this one over here, Facebook for WooCommerce. So we'll just install this plugin and then click activate. Okay, great. So now it's activated over here. Just make sure it's activated. You'll be able to see the activate over here and then we'll go over here into configure. Okay, so it's fairly easy. You'll just need to connect your uh, Facebook business account. So we'll click get started. So you just log into your Facebook account in which your business manager is linked to. So it's on my personal account. So let's click continue. Okay, and then we'll just click next. Okay, so make sure over here you select the correct business manager and then the Facebook page. Okay, so we're just gonna pick this one over here. Okay, and then next. Okay, and then Instagram. So you can connect your Instagram as well. So I have my business Instagram available. So I'll just select that. Okay, and then product catalog, create new. So create new, and then we'll just name this WooCommerce Facebook test. Okay, and then click next. Okay, and then we'll select this catalog. Okay, and then pick your ad account. So again, if you don't have any of these, then you just have to create a new account. Okay, and then pick a pixel. So for this one, I'll use my most active one. So I'll click that one and next. Okay, great. And then click next again. Okay, and then what integrations would you like to use? So make sure that the required integrations are turned on or else it says the integrations might not work properly. So we'll look through all this. Okay, so make sure just these are correct and click next. Okay, so now it's linking. Awesome, so now we link WooCommerce to our Facebook page. Okay, and click OK. Yep, so now it'll redirect us back to our website. Okay, awesome, so now the connection is successful. So over here will allow you to create Facebook and Instagram ads. So if you'd like to um, do paid advertising, that'll be available here. And then these are just the analytics for your advertising efforts. So what we're really interested in is the product sync section. So first, what you wanna do is have some products to sync to your page. So over here in this test shop, I just created a t-shirt page. So we'll do our testing with that. So go back into the plugin. Okay, so back here in the plugin, we'll sync the products. So again, if you wanna exclude certain categories or products, you can add them here. Okay, so for the Google products, we don't need to worry about that at the moment because we don't have um, Google Shopping enabled. So we'll just click sync products. Now the products are syncing. Okay, great. So now let's check our product catalogs so over here in connections. So again, just make sure your settings are correct over here. And then we can click WooCommerce Facebook tests to direct to our catalog. Okay, great. So it says over here, we have one product. So let's see. So our t-shirt got synced successfully. So over here, we can just double check all the metadata. So of course, here's the pricing, the name, and then the link to the product. So again, you can edit these manually yourself here in the, the edit product section. But they have a little walkthrough here, but we can skip that. And then it's just like an Excel spreadsheet where you're able to fill out the necessary fields and edit them accordingly. But looking at the data that was synced, everything is correct. Okay, great. So next we're gonna set up our Facebook shop because right now users aren't able to access the products on your Facebook page. So what we're gonna do is go over here into sales and then we'll skip Instagram for now and just do the Facebook shop. So we'll connect the page, which we want the shop to reside on. Okay, great. So now we need to create the shop. Make sure you're using the correct pages over here. Okay, and then the checkout method, we have it so that it'll redirect the user to the website and check out on the website, not on Facebook, but they also, have check out with Facebook and Instagram here. This might be better for conversions as it's keeping users directly in the Facebook or Instagram platform. So you can experiment with both and see which works better for your, your business. But we'll just stick to check out on our website for now because I don't have any of the checkouts set up on Facebook. Okay, and then next. So again, just make sure the correct catalog is selected, the correct website in which the transactions are going to be taking place so once that's done click next okay and then this is just shipping so let's just do canada okay and then finish that up okay great so now we have our 
our shops tab over here. So we're able to see insights about our shop. So we'll just see what Facebook has to say over here. So just your statistics, access your marketing tools. Okay, so we'll just have to add our products from our catalog. Okay, so over here, what we want to do over here is just we need to add four items. So let's do that now. Okay, so we can use like a spreadsheet or a pixel or manually, but since we have the plugin already, we can use that. So over here, let's just create four or more products. So in WooCommerce, go into all products, and then we'll just duplicate these and make four t-shirts. So over here, now the product is created as well on Facebook. Okay, so let's go back on Facebook. Awesome, so we have the Facebook product over here, but it's missing the photo. So we'll, I think we just need to add that manually. You'll have to add that manually. And then if you click view on website, it'll take you directly to the product listing page. Okay, so now we added the products. Let's fix these issues over here. So edit shop, okay, and then go to Facebook. And then we added our products, that product three and product four. Okay, so product three has been added. And then one more product, product four. Okay, and then click save. Okay, so this is how your shop will look like on Facebook. Okay, so click save and then we can exit the builder. Okay, so it's saying unpublished changes. So let's view the live shop. Okay, and then current revision. Okay, it's still saying we need to add one more product. So we don't have num product number two. So we'll add that, the t shirt number two. Okay, and then click save. Seems like our sales channels are working. So let's view the live shop. Awesome. So now we can publish over here in the right corner after adding at least four products. So click publish. Awesome. So now our shop has been updated. So let's check our Facebook page. Awesome. So if we check our Facebook page now, now we have this little shop icon. So we can click shop. And here we go. Our products are now showing. And then if we click one of the products, it'll show the image and then the price and description. And then if you want to purchase or know more details about the product, then you can click view on website. Awesome. Okay. And then lastly, we'll just go over some of the settings that you can do within the Facebook commerce manager. So we'll go to edit shop. So over here in layouts, we can create featured collections. So we can do that and create a new collection. Let's just put t-shirts and then add in all our t-shirts and then click confirm. Okay. And then we have our t-shirts catalog here. So let's just move this to the top. Okay. And then it's saying optimize layout. So this is so that it'll automatically test each layout and choose which layout is best for the user, but let's just turn it off and set it up manually. So I'll turn this off just so the experience will be the same every time. Okay. And then I'll just remove all these products and just keep the grid. Okay. So remove that. And then just a dynamic, dynamic product. Then over here is an offer. So say if you want to give a discount, so let's create an offer, create offer. Okay. And then just say first purchase and then just say 10% off per order. And then you would set the duration of the offer. So let's just say starting today and create offer and then the eligible products. So just apply to the entire store and then create offer. Okay, great. So now the offer is created and then you can create posts to promote the offers over here. And then just the details of the offer and then the products that the offer can be applied to. Okay. And go to our current version over here and then we're going to publish this change. Okay. And then click publish updates. Yep. So publish updates. So now it's in review. Facebook will just review your shop and make sure all the products are within their guidelines. And then lastly, if we edit the shop, if you want to turn off your shop on Facebook, we can go over here into settings and then visibility. And then let's just turn these off into hidden and click save. Okay. So because our shop is under review, you won't be able to edit the visibility at the moment, but once the shop has been finished being reviewed, then you can just update it here as well. Okay. And then click save and then publish updates. Awesome. So now our shops are hidden over here. And then if we check our Facebook page, the shop tab is not available. This concludes the end of the video. I hope this tutorial was able to help you in connecting your WooCommerce website to your Facebook shop. Please like, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.